In Corel Paint Shop Pro 2018, I'm going to show you how to make a HDR image by using a JPEG. I know you can do this in your camera by setting different exposures and taking three shots. A lot of people shoot in JPEG because they're afraid of RAW or their camera does not handle RAW. So this is the way you can get around it. you got to open your image. Right click on your image on the, uh, on the panel and click on promote it to layer. Now make two copies of your layer by duplicating them. You do not have to name them right now because we'll name them as we close them down. Go up to your adjust, brightness and control, or brightness and contrast, I'm sorry, and go to brightness and contrast. And I already have mine set at 75, click OK. Go to the second layer and make sure you turn off the first layer by clicking on the eyeball. And go back up to adjust brightness and contrast. Click on it and set it to minus 75. Click OK. Turn on the eyeball on the top layer and highlight it. Now go to File, Save as, Copy as, name it as Overexposed. Click Save. It's going to ask you if you want to merge it to say yes. Shut off the top layer. Go to the middle layer. Go to File. Same thing. Save Copy As. Now save this one as Under Expose. Click Save. Again, click Yes. Shut off this layer and go to your original layer. And go File. Save copy as and name this one normal. Click OK. Now you can delete all the images. Just click the X on the image. It's going to ask you if you want to save changes to say no. Now in your folder, you should have four images the original image, normal, over, and underexposed. Now what we do is we go to HDR, exposure merge, and another box, another window will open up. Uh, this is a box, you can read this if you want. I advise you to, but since I already know about it, I'm just going to click it off. Hit the plus sign and go to your folder where you put the images. Here, I put them in my documents here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to click. Normal, over, and underexposed, and I'm going to open them. Now, since they're already taken and they're all aligned, you do not have to click the align buttons and stuff like that. Now, if you took them out of your camera, you would have to because of the camera shaking that. But since we've done just copied the image three times, they're exactly the same. Highlight all the images at the bottom and go down here and hit process. Now it gives you boxes up here with different settings, or you can use these settings. I usually go with this setting. I will change the strength a bit. It brings it out. You, you can play with these settings and get amazing results with, with this lab. It's unbelievable what you can do. And once you're done, you hit process. And you wait till it's all processed. Since my images are huge, it usually takes a while. And there's your final result. Now you can say save and done. I usually save mine as a JPEG image. I'll click save. Yes. Now you open up your save. Now there's other tricks you can do. You can take the original image, copy it, and put it underneath this image and erase some spots that you want to soften up, like the face and stuff like this. You can do this image by setting the brightness at 50, 45. Each one will give you a different result. I find with the skies, I like it around 75. Even though you have a little bit of artifact in the skies, you can fix that by smudging it a bit or turning down the uh, brightness by 50. But I'm happy with this result, how it turned out. There's a... It's amazing what you can do with it. You can go black and white and add your original photo on top and take it and change your uh, 
to different ones, screen, multiply, it will give you amazing results. With Corel Paint Shop Pro 2018 and your HDR, HDR effects, you can, it's unlimited what you can do. Thank you for listening and enjoy.